what is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones i wanted to go ahead and show you guys gaming on a snapdragon 730 processor with the me 9t as the example i hope you guys like it let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see in regards to gaming on this device um really obviously the two main ones right now are fortnite and pubg let's go ahead and launch fortnite and show you guys what that looks like so we'll let it run through the whole process. We'll see how long it takes from load to actual launch. Definitely took a little while at the beginning there, but you can see just how quick it did jump through the process of loading, and it looks like it's about to finish up any second now. And there we go. This is a fresh, fresh install you can see i haven't even logged in before yet let me finish the setup and we'll be good to go all right we'll just use auto fire got it All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go back. And we'll just go ahead and hit play, get this started up. So you can see just how smooth everything seems to operate even on a 730 processor. No real holdup at all. So you can see, works pretty well, no problems at all. I'm not going to try to really get through this gameplay right now. I'm not really worried about what happens. Wait till this battle bus launches. All right. As you can see, there really is no lag or delay at all. It's actually pretty impressive for a mid-range processor. So if any of you guys are interested in looking at a mid-range device and we're worried about not having a flagship processor of an 845 or an 855, don't. This definitely gets the job done pretty obviously pretty well. Not too shabby at all. Just go ahead and get down here. And 
and you can see there's no issue at all with this gameplay. It's very responsive, no problem at all. So, I'll leave that alone right now. You kind of saw a couple little quick shooting modes and light, light gameplay, but you can see there is zero lag on this device at all. Let's go ahead and shut this down, if it'll let us, <laughs> and let's go ahead and launch PUBG now. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll let this run and see how long it takes to launch. And there we go. So you can see I did open this one before. I have not actually launched any missions or anything, but you can see just how quick that was to load up. Let's start the matchmaking. That is more of what you can expect from reloading the app. All right. And here we go. No problems at all. You can see motion's pretty fluid. You can see other players running around as well. No issues with this one bit. Let's wait till this match starts and we'll see how well it works out. Just as fluid as Fortnite was. All right. And you can see no issue scrolling graphics everything looks good this is run on the highest setting which the snapdragon 730 will allow you to run on still so that's it let's go ahead and just jump out let's keep going No issues at all with the gameplay. Let's go ahead and look in here. Go ahead and take this bike. And you can see no issues at all. What do you guys think? Do you think PUBG and Fortnite run pretty well on these 730s? You can see the server timed out. So this will be a perfect time to go ahead and... Uh, close this out but that is it guys i just wanted to show you don't worry about the processor nowadays this new snapdragon 730 looks great works great and there is no reason to let that hinder you from purchasing a new device thanks for watching guys don't forget to thumbs up this video comment down below let us know are you going to be getting one of these new phones whether it's the a80 or this mi 9t that are running these new snapdragon processors stay tuned to the channel guys don't forget to subscribe we'll catch you in the next one